Juneteenth, now officially the newest federal House of Representatives has passed legislation making Juneteenth President a federal Biden holiday. making Juneteenth a new federal holiday. This one's for you. another episode of For You TV, where we talk about all those little things that get underneath of your skin. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell too. Oh, and to appease the YouTube algorithm gods, I'm in need of three sacrifices. So please drop a like, leave a comment, and of course share that love. Today's episode is going to be just a little bit different because I'm going to combine a couple of topics and see if I can push them together in this beautiful melting pot. A booze. So join me as we ease on down that star-spangled road to For You TV's Independence Day Special! Let's begin. It's that time of year again, folks, where the evil red Codicus monster rises up from the Atlantic to devour the souls of the American offspring who defeated him in 1776. <gasps> And so to keep him at bay, we march around in our ceremonial colors, we light colorful gunpowder, and we devour a bounty of scorched meat. What are you saying? That's not even it. That's not no, even that's, that's no. not it? No, no. It's not. Independence Day, or as it's more commonly known as the 4th of July, is a day where Americans celebrate their independence from British rule and from alien enslavement. That was a movie. That's not right either? Who wrote the card? Every year we Americans follow our same old traditions, whether that's going to parades or throwing cookouts and barbecues, because they're not the same thing, or drinking until our blood alcohol level is the same as our IQ, and then blowing our fingers off with cheap fireworks. It's the American way. But this year the government decided to pander a little monkey wrench into the plans. Juneteenth finally became an official federal holiday. And it just so happens to be two weeks before the Independence Day that we was all taught about in schools. Which means that not only will there be a lot of uh, true patriots out there that'll be seeing red, white, and blue, and every shade in between, but that our ancestors can finally rejoice. Sort of. Don't get me wrong, it is an amazing feat that something that black Americans have been celebrating and acknowledging for a while now is finally getting the federal recognition that it deserves. But you know good goddamn well that all these eight and a half by eleven folk gonna be in these big boardroom meetings talking about some Juneteenth Hallmark cards and Juneteenth flags and Juneteenth t-shirts. I mean can you just imagine a Juneteenth lifetime special? Coming up. One lifetime, two years, too late. Starring Tiffany Haddish as Keisha. Give us a spree! We ready! And Michael Blackson as Daquan. That's right, Monosoka! With Rachel Dolezal as Sister Shirley. I identify as free! And Tyler Perry as Sister Shirley's wig. Hello? all the Juneteenth specials that they're gonna have. For a limited time only, Colonel Sanders feels sorry about what the South did all those years ago. Get a free bucket of chicken with purchase a bucket of chicken if you use discount code FREEDOM. Or this year, why not taste the freedom of Juneteenth with Sonic's watermelon milkshake? Tastes so good it'll take the shackles off your feet so you can dance. Mm, mm, mm. And what's with all this American flag memorabilia? Y'all got shirts and hats and pants and suits and drawers and ties. You got stuff for your house, stuff for your car, stuff for your pets. Y'all do know that that's disrespectful to the flag, right? Like, like there's a whole code that says that, in fact, right? There's something uniquely American about someone wearing a flag hat, yelling at somebody else for kneeling during the anthem, and calling that disrespectful. But hey, sorry. This must be one of those selective disrespectful things. My bad. And speaking of disrespectfulness, can somebody tell me when the is it fireworks or a gunshot game is gonna be over with? Cause I just need to know. 
Somebody give me a hallmark call for that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then nine times out of ten, you either never lived in the hood or you're of the uh, uh, Elmer's variety. Every single year, stores like Walmart and Target and Costco and Sam's Club and your local grocery store, you can probably find it at your local liquor store. They sell these variety DTP packs filled with cheap fireworks. They usually start selling them sometime in May, you know, after Mother's Day has come and gone, and then they don't stop selling them until supplies are gone. They do this so that families can start planning their little Fourth of July fireworks shows for their cookouts and their barbecues. But what really happens is that a bunch of people start buying them early, and then they set them off when they get home, scaring everything with the pulse half to death. And it ain't like they stop on the 5th of July, they be lighting them things from the end of one school year to the start of the next. I love us, but can we not do this the whole summer? Because if my muffler goes up or if Lil Saint gets shot, I need to know the difference. I'm tired of clapping in the middle of the night because I don't know if I need to roll over, duck for cover, or call AutoZone in the morning. If you like this video, then do yourself a favor and follow those instructions. a topic or just a little ism that gets underneath the your skin and you want me to talk about it here on this channel then why don't you leave it in that comment section down below and i'll be sure to check it out okay well my name is sweet tea it's been real and i hope that you have a flavorful day so please be sure to drop a like leave a comment and of course share that love what was i doing with my hair <laughs> what was that? Stars Bangle Road to my Independence Day special! <laughs>